your body was just right. Everybody hear me out there? Woo! I said, can you hear me out there? Okay. All right. Well, once again, howdy, folks. Good to see you. All right. My name is Chris Well, a traveling magician. I travel all over the country performing for corporate events, festivals, and fairs, and I come out here for more people folks tonight. You folks ready to see some magic up here and say, yeah? Yeah! All right. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hand out three items. Before I do, I'm going to show you the sticks, and this is the magic stick. The magic stick, yeah. Watch. I'm going to show you. It's perfectly balanced in every way. I'm going to show you why it's perfectly balanced. Even the light shining in my eyes. What's this? Perfectly balanced magic stick. Watch. Watch. Apple watch. 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 So a banana bread shooter. Now I can keep doing this or you can show me you like it. Alright. That is a perfectly balanced magic stick. Watch close. I make it spin in midair. Watch. Spin in midair. Here we go. Spin in midair. Spin. Spin. Thank you. stupid stunt show, but it's not magic, it's comedy, and if you don't laugh, we'll just call it magic. How's that? All right. I'm going to hand out a couple items, and I'm going to first hand out the magic stick. You're up here really close. Do you mind holding on to that story? What's your name? Courtney. Hold on to the magic stick. Thank you so much. I've also got a little rubber bounce ball. A little rubber bounce ball. Green rubber bounce ball. Need somebody to hang on to that for me? <laughs> I don't know. You're talking a lot, fella. Can I trust you? If I give you this ball and it bounces out there in the road, you're going to go get it. You understand? All right. My mama told me not to play in traffic. But I'm telling you, you can. All right. Here we go. You ready? What's your name? Now, if you got to turn your hat around backwards, I don't know if I can trust you. <laughs> you catch it? All right. Here we go. What was that again? Jake. Jake. Here we go. Good catch. Give me a round of ball. Next thing I'm going to hand out is a bag. i got a little bag here. What's your name, sir? You're close. Dave? I need you. To, I need you to hang on to this for me. If you would just hold on to the bag, just hold it. Hold like a woman's crutch. Yeah. No, you're holding it like a woman's crutch, like a man. Like, oh, there you go. All right. All right. Awesome. All right. Oh, by the way, remember I said there's one stupid stunt. Let me introduce you to the stupid stunt, ladies and gentlemen. This is the stupid stunt. That is a mouse trap. It's not a fake mouse trap, but it is a real mouse trap. That is a fake mouse. <laughs> Courtney, right? You know how I can tell it's fake? Yeah. It used to say 50% uh, more catnip on it. <laughs> you don't find that on real lines, I'm just saying. It does make you a little friskier, though. <laughs> now, I'm going to prove to you this is a real mousetrap using this pretzel rod. I stick it in here like this, I'll let go. It shatters, see all pieces flying. Like snowflakes in the air. <laughs> you folks get snowflakes around here? I'm from Asheville, we got tons of them. All right. What's going to happen in just a minute, ladies and gentlemen, just a minute, I'm going to uh, stick my tongue in the mousetrap and let go. No, I am. I'm going to stick my tongue in the mousetrap. At the end of the show, I'm going to... you guys want to see me stick my tongue in the mousetrap? Say yeah! yeah. Say it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. You are going to do it. What? You are going to do it. We'll stick around and find out. Well, I'm stupid. It's a stupid stunt. <laughs> Thank you for reading, sir. <laughs> Otherwise, that sign means nothing. <laughs> All right. Uh, you guys want to see a sneak peek of me sticking my tongue in the mouse trap? Come here and say, yeah! yeah! All right, here we go. Sneak peek. Get ahead of me, Brad. What kind of 
work do you do? Retire. Mom! Mom! Sorry, it doesn't ring a bell. <laughs> now those are dad jokes, so if you're not a dad, you don't get them. You know how to tell if it's a dad joke? It's a parent. All right, now Brad, you will see the coin disappear or dance. You choose. Do you want to see it disappear or vanish? Okay. Do you know the difference, Brad? No. Let me show you the difference before you make a choice, all right? If I squeeze the coin like this, it becomes invisible. Now, if the coin's invisible, that means it disappeared. And if a coin's disappeared, I can just wave like that and it comes back. That's, that's pretty easy. But to make it vanish, that's a little more difficult. I blow on it. You're going to fall, Brad. I made a coin vanish. Now, I keep another one right here in my pocket just in case. Now, have you ever seen a coin this fancy? Of course you have. You're old enough to uh, recognize that. Some people don't. I didn't say he was old. I said he's old enough. <laughs> but that's a pretty big coin. I don't know where that big coin comes from. However, Perfect. Yeah. 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 Jay? He's like, I don't know what happened. <laughs> it's a rubber coin, Jay. That's how it works. Have you ever seen a rubber coin before? Me neither. It's like a big manhole cover. <laughs> if you don't like somebody, just move it out of the way, they'll fall in. All right. You guys are joining the show so far. Let me hear you say, yeah. Awesome. I, I love working where people are drinking. All right. Makes my magic better. All right. Uh, that, that was the 50 cent trick. However, this is my uh, $100 trick. This is what I call the $100 trick. All I need is someone to take out a hundred dollar bill, hold it up in the air. Don't lie to me. I see all the moonshine y'all buying. Somebody's got some money. No hundred? All right. I don't need it. I don't. I take that at the end of the show, sir. End of the show. All right, fine. If you don't have a hundred, you got a fifty. The bigger the bill, the better the trick. I'm all saying. If you don't have a fifty, a uh, twenty, this isn't an option, folks. I need somebody to hold up a bill of uh, any denomination besides a one. Those suck. <laughs> You got a one? Alright, hold it up so everybody can see. Don't hand it to me, just hold it up. What is that? A 20. I like you, sir. <laughs> Put your wallet away. You're not going to need that anymore. <laughs> What's your name? Jansen? Alright, Jansen, hold that up high so everybody can see. Because what's going to happen? Jansen, I'm going to make this handkerchief disappear and reappear inside the threads and holes and the fibers of your $20 bill. Are you ready, Jansen? I'll just push it inside here like this, little by little, inch by inch, piece by piece. Each fiber disappears, reappears inside the threads, folds, and fibers of your $20 bill. Are you ready, Jensen? All right, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. I'll applaud for myself if I have to. Now, Jansen, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking it's not in the 20, but if you look close, you can actually see it. It's in there. Uh, it's green. <laughs> now, Jansen, I don't want you to think I'm going to sneak something over on it, so I'm going to use this to hold that 20. Do you mind? Thank you. Now, Jansen, you want to learn a really cool trick? You go down to Walmart. You can go to Walmart, eh? And they got these things here. They're called gophers. Gopher 2, actually. They're $10. You get that, you come over here, you get these people standing in front of you. You have somebody hold up a 20. You grab it out of their hand, you put it in your pocket, you may double your money back. <laughs> Great trick, isn't it, Jansen? <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you, Jansen. I'm not a thief. I'm a magician. <laughs> not that those are different. All right, Jansen. If you'll remember uh, 27D, that's the last two numbers of the serial number and the letter, okay? So you know it's yours if you ever, when you see it again, you'll know it's yours. I'm going to make a magic tunnel, Jansen. You see me on the other side? Everybody can see through the tunnel. Make a magic tunnel. Now, Jansen, if you forget the serial number, it's mine. So do you remember it? What is it? I'll come back later. <laughs> now, Jansen, with one finger, look, inside the magic tunnel, I go inside, I massage the threads, the folds, and the fibers of the $20 bill, and from inside, I get a little piece of green cloth, just like that. <laughs> it don't matter, I made $20. All right. <laughs> Jansen, grab that out, pull it, look at it, make sure that is, in fact, the same one. I blew my nose on earlier. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. COVID. <laughs> I blew it on your 20. You want it back? <laughs> that never works. All right. 
Jensen, if you would, grab that 20, hold on to it. However, oh, let me look at it. I'm sorry. I forgot that one more, most important part. Is that the same one you gave me? He checked it. That's the same one he gave me. He said it, not me. <laughs> now, now, hold on to that, Jensen. At the end of the show, these people are going to want to run up here and throw money in my bucket. <laughs> you go first. <laughs> All right. Guys, give me a big round of applause. Of the show, we're getting down to the end of the show. This is a this is the, the trick that made me famous all over the world. Uh, yeah, that's right, on YouTube. <laughs> I don't travel much. Don't know where the name came from. <laughs> I guess probably I was over there, and then I came over here. I don't know. But anyways, uh, I'm like the Justin Bieber of magic. <laughs> don't laugh so loud, lady. <laughs> all right. But I need uh, I need a stick. Who has a stick? Courtney, you brought sticks. This show doesn't do well unless it's a stick. And you brought one, and that's all that matters. I need a, a green ball. Oh. Hey. Uh -oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Underhanded, all right? I, I, I'm 45. My sight's going. Well, hold on. I said underhanded. Jay's over like this. I got you. Here it comes. Thank you, Jay. All right. Just toss it up here so that way I don't lose it. I didn't say I'm crippled. All right. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Get back there. Dan, right? Dave, Dave I knew that. <laughs> I was testing you. <laughs> All right, here we go. Dave, you got the bag. Hold it high in the air so everybody can see. Here's what's going to happen, Dave. I'm going to take a stick, put it inside here with the ball, tap the back, tap the front, the ball disappears. Not only does it disappear, but it reappears inside the bag. I will, but the show won't go any further. <laughs> Hey, take your uh, take the bag with your take your little fingers. Just oh, I'm sorry. I thought a lady was going to be holding the bag, and you you, you your big manly fingers and just open the bag, open the bag, reach inside, grab the ball out, hold it high in the air so everybody can see. And when you do, they'll applaud you, Dave. Put my hands in there. That's for you, Dave. Hey. Hand me the ball. Well, some people didn't applaud, Dave, and I know why. No, no, hold it. Ball, you think you know how it's done. You're like, that guy's got two balls. Did <laughs> you close the bag up and just pull the strings and pull the bag up? No. Now you look, there's nothing down there. There's no ball in here, right? All right. I'm going to do that one more time. Just for those that think I have two balls. <laughs> of course, if the trick were to happen again, that means I have. That's a crazy. <laughs> I don't know. Mama said I'm special. Anyway, hold the bag up high. Watch this, Dave. Watch everybody watch. Ball goes inside the hand. Grab the ball with the stick. Tap the ball just like that. The ball disappears. Go ahead, Dave. Open the bag. Reach inside the bag. Grab the ball out. Hold it high in the air so everybody can see. And when you do, they'll applaud you. Is it not in there, Dave? Let me see. Did you look for the ball, Dave? No. If you did, you'd have seen it sitting over here on the table. Yeah, she's like, yeah, right? And so that's how this game works, folks. This is actually an old game. Now, inside the bag is a cup, a solid wooden cup. I'll show you the solid wooden cup. Solid, all the way through. No holes, no screens, no holes, no hidden scissors. Solid wooden cup. I took the ball inside the cup. Sorry. Pardon me. My wife likes to wash the cup for me before I go to do a show. And, well, she seems to use too much pants. Now, that's only for the people that laugh. Now, look, thank you. I think you'll get me cracked up. This show ain't going to go any further, all right? You with the Cobra Kai uh, t shirt on. What's your name? William. Do you mind helping me out real quick? All right, now, just stay where you're at. Yeah, give them a ball. That's fine. But stay where you're at. You can stand, though. That way we know it's you. William, I'm going to take the ball and put it inside the cup. I'm going to shake it up like this. I'm going to ask you where the ball is. You're going to say it's either in the cup or in the hand. Now, here's how you know it. The mouth is down, it's in the hand. The mouth is up, it's in the cup. You got it? Good. I'm going to go real fast. Where's the ball? Good job. You're right. You hadn't had, the, you hadn't had too much moonshine. Your eyes are going good. All right, you ready? Here we go. One more time. Very fast. Where's the ball? It's in the cup. That's right. Now, I'm going to go super fast. You ready? Now, Dave, I know what you're thinking. Where did he just put that ball? I've got a little bag hanging out behind this uh, case over here, a little bag, and I can put the ball down inside there if I want to. 
Now, before you answer, and I, I, I'll give you a clue. It's not underneath the cuff. It's not in my hand. It's in the back. Your name, Dave. <laughs> not Dave. I'm sorry. You're Wait, Dave. Yeah, sorry. I get. I ask too many questions. All right, Wait. Your name's not Wait. Wait. I put the ball inside the bag. If I do like I did in the beginning, and I make the ball disappear, where's that name? It's in my hand. That way. See, that's a trick. I'm going to teach everybody how to do it. When you turn your hand over, I drop the ball and take the stick away. It makes it look like it disappeared. So, now, if I ask you now, you're going to say, it's in my hand. But all I do is I drop my hand down behind here and I drop it in the back. So now you know exactly where it is. Tell everybody where it's at. No, really. You're coming to the <laughs> Thank you. William, all right. Now, you can sit down. Now, William, in the beginning, I, uh, I told you I had two balls. Remember, I'll show you to you. There's the first ball. There's the cup. There's the other ball. Now, you never see the first ball. You only see the second ball. There's the first ball. There's the cup. There's the other ball. Did, did you follow me, Dave? William? All right. Look, I take the ball, put it down inside here like this. I tap the cup. Did you see it come back? What color is it, William? William. What, you need to stand up. What color is it? There's nothing there, William. <laughs> it's invisible, William. All I gotta do is tap it and it comes back. Now what color is it? It's green. You had it right the first time, it was just invisible. That's alright though. Now I told you you never see the second ball. What color is the second ball? Do you remember? What's that? No, that was the first ball. The second ball is yellow. <laughs> That's alright. Now William, I have two balls. I have a green one and a yellow. Your choice, green or yellow. Nice people pick yellow. Oh, William, you're such a nice guy. I take the ball, put it down inside here, I tap it. Did you see it come back? That's because that's a limit. I know, William, you're thinking, well, what if I put the green ball down there? What, what do you think comes back there? Most people say lime. No. That's a limit, that's a lime. I have no clue where the sprite comes from. Well, thank you. Thank you. watching the show, your applause, your laughter, it really does my heart good, because I wasn't sure what to expect, I've never worked this stage, and you guys have been amazing, but before I stick my tongue in the mouth track, because I did promise I'd stick my tongue in the mouth track, uh, show a hand if you know what a busker is, it's like two people, a busker, it's a French term, it means I go out in the streets, and I perform a show for people like you, that are just walking by, however, when as a busker, you don't get paid, say, oh, oh, well, who's going to pay me? Guess who they said? <laughs> I was about to say, where you go? Jensen. Jensen's going to pay me. No, no, no. They said I could ask for tips and donations. So at the end of the show, if you enjoy what you see, just reach in your pocket, grab out a few bucks, come up, throw it in the uh, bucket. I appreciate it. However, if you don't have cash in the back of the house, I have a QR code. You pull out your iPhone or your Android, you open the camera app, you scan it, take it straight to the page where you can give me all the money you want. <laughs> okay. Now, if you give me a five, though, I'll shake your hand. I will. I'll shake your hand. Ten dollars gets you a hug. <laughs> yes. <laughs> From somebody else. I understand. <laughs> Five gas cap, tell him you gave me a 20. <laughs> if you give me a 50, I can go home to my wife tonight. Say yeah! You didn't say yeah. <laughs> it's all right, $100, I'll come home with you. All right, you guys know what to do. If you want to uh, come up here, throw some land above your stand and vote, I appreciate it. My family appreciates it. I don't drink, I don't do drugs, uh, but I am an Uber driver. Which means you're going to need me later. Think about that when you're here. <laughs> you guys may see me stick my tongue in the mouth and say, yeah! yeah. All right, now keep in mind, when I stick out my tongue, you're going to all help. Three, two, one. When you get to one, I'm going to let go. Now, once I let go, my tongue may come flying off and blood goes everywhere. I'm not, this is not a Gallagher show, so that is not part of the show. <laughs> you call 911. However, if it doesn't, my hat's been known to pop off, my eyes have been known to bulge, but I'll be fine. Don't worry about that. I may convulse a little bit, but I will be fine. So you folks ready to see it one more time? Say yeah! yeah. All right, I'll stick out my tongue. You go three, two, one. Three, two, one. Somebody else don't do it. <laughs> this is how I make my living, man. <laughs> how much you gonna give me? I'm just kidding. All right, here we go. I'm not that stupid. 
It doesn't say incredibly stupid, it just says stupid. All right, here we go. Here we go. One, two, or three, two, one. Three, two, one.